Hey gang, and today I have some really exciting footage. Um, definitely, spoiler warning, we're going to see everything about uh, Dwarf Fortress Endgame coming up right here. So, if you all saw my last video, you know, I was asking for help because I was looking for a candy vein. Uh, well, I've given so many spoiler warnings, I'm just going to talk about it, if, you, if everyone doesn't mind. So I found some adamantium, but I did not know where it was. So, by that I mean the game had told me, like, hey... I found some adamantium. There is some on the map, but I didn't see where it was. And a bunch of people gave me suggestions on how to find it. Um, and one person specifically asked me to thank their mother, so because she's a nice lady. So thank you to Woke Alarm's mother and to everyone who gave me advice uh, last time on finding the adamantium. So we did end up finding it, and so here's how to survive. Here's how you survive um, breaching the circus, the underworld. And you can see right there I'm building three defensive walls. I'm going to put doors there as well and then forbid those doors, and that's going to create a holding area, like a little bubble, because when we breach through, there's going to be a huge amount of um, aggressive pressure coming out into our fortress. Um, you know what I'm talking about. I think I described it in my first um, video about the endgame as like a fire hose, a high-pressure fire hose of um, uh, intensely strong enemies. So you have to definitely um, secure the area around the vein before you go in there. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm building uh, these walls. And you'll see they end up... It's a good thing I built three because in that serpentine, you know, back and forth fashion. Because that makes it means it takes longer for the monsters to get out. And you'll see that they ended up breaching so fast that I only held them in with that last wall, the farthest one out. Um, and since this footage, what I've done is I've actually extended this area that the demons have access to. And um, it actually goes up a few Z levels into a private room with fortifications. I'm now using my archers to train on them. But I tell you, um, these demons are so hard. So I, I have it as like a valve system. So all the demons are sitting in this room that we're building now, basically. And then... Uh, I got lucky because I don't know if this is normal, but all of my demons can't destroy walls and they can't uh, break down forbidden doors. So what I just do is I have all these valves of passable slash forbidden doors and I just like let one demon come for, uh, further into my fortress, uh, into that controlled room, and then I have my archery guys practice on him through the fortifications, but he is still, um, he's healing so fast they can't even hurt him. And he actually has a poison gas attack, the one that, that came through for practice and I let my dwarves practice on. He um, has a poison gas attack that also goes through the fortifications. So we're struggling with that. I'll continue to show. Uh, my mission, now that I've safely done this, is to just clear all these demons and then maybe try to get down into the underworld myself. But that's a long way off because it generated me about 70 demons, and I can't even kill the first one. But it is controlled. So my fortress has now lived for three years since breaching into hell. Because uh, I've been playing all day. It's... It, gets especially fun when these demons are in. It's like, uh, you know, water or magma engineering, but even more dangerous in terms of, like, having a controlled area that you carefully expand from the outside. So right, I think, here. Nope, not quite. So, oh, so I, thanks to everyone who gave me advice, I did try um, changing the graphics to the original, but I still didn't find it. This was actually hidden so well that I had to just explore around, and then I finally found uh, what the game called, like, a glittering wall of gems in the magma sea. And that's, that's where I found when I started carving through that, um, somebody recommended that that's where you're going to also find the adamantium veins. And I did, that's, that's what ended up happening. So this is the chasm that goes down. And this is, I'm just building a second little optional entrance that we never finished because of the way it turned out. But you can see, I name it right there, alt, alt entry to tube. Um, yeah, this went really well. I was really pleased with myself. Now I'm a little frustrated because I can't even kill one of them. I have to get my I'm going to make my dwarves train until they can take down at least one demon in a controlled setting. And then after that, I guess I can um, start really clearing them in earnest. But you'll see, um, I, the graphics, they did a really good job because a bunch of different monsters come out. So a few funny things that I already learned about um, dealing with demons is, uh, the first thing after I had them trapped was I made a hallway with lots of um, damaging and cage traps, because that's how I usually deal with things. But then I realized that all the demons that come up in the clown car, can fly, and are uh, trap immune, so that's not going to do anything. Um, I also then tried immediately doing fortifications right here, so I could shoot in, but the result was that too many of my dwarves could see all the monsters as they walked by, and would flee in terror, so it, like, made this whole level of the fortress, like, inaccessible, because every time a dwarf came down, they saw literally legions of hell, 
and um, would chicken back out. So I ended up having to get rid of the fortifications, replace them with things that couldn't be seen through, and then I moved them up into a more private area for that only the soldiers will randomly see when they go in to actually kill a demon. So we're building these walls and the doors. This is what saved my fortress. If I hadn't done this, it would have been immediate game over. If you just tap into an adamantine vein, and I've been saying adamantium and adamantine, and now I'm not sure which one it actually is. But um, if you tap into one without having a containment area, then you're out of luck. I mean, I don't know of a way that you could have dwarves that were combat ready enough to actually take down the clown car. I mean, it's, it's designed very deliberately to wipe your base. So, uh, so that's me setting up bedrooms while my dwarves work. Uh, and now I've given them permission to clear out, to dig out the um, rest of this gem wall. That's what the green indicators are. And in just one second, he's about to breach through and we're going to get all the notifications. I think I lose two or three dwarves um, that end up being sacrificial as they flee out. And then I had to lock the door. You know, it's like uh, the airlock. I had to seal it. There we go. Discovered an eerie cavern. Uh, adamantine confirmed. I, I'll stop saying adamantium. Adamantine. And there it is. There's our, um, there's our hellscape. Uh, totally clear. And then now because we have visual into hell, I can see where the other adamantine veins were. And yeah, they're all just hidden in weird places. So now I am, and there it is, horrifying scream. So here comes the clown car. Um, and this is when I start moving my guys out. And at first I was like, wait, do I have enemies turned off? Because I got the horrifying screams and I wasn't immediately murdered. So I was like, wait, did I make a mistake? Um, turns out it doesn't matter actually, because I think I did check and I had enemies off uh, at this point, but the clown car is not optional, so... You're going to see, yeah, the three dwarves in here, maybe one escapes, but fire hose of demons is about to be turned on. There it is. <laughs> and it does look cool in this version. I like the steam version. Um, and yeah, some can't fly and they'll stay on the ground, but the rest can and they are coming right up. So yeah, I'm going to look at a few of these. If you haven't seen the demons yet and you're curious what they look like, what kind of abilities they have, um, apparently some can cast spells through fortifications in addition to, like, poison gas and stuff. So I might really be in trouble when we get to, like, there's these things called, like, white spirits, and it's like a giant snow golem. There you go. So they're pouring up. The dwarves are now fleeing. One gets eaten, two gets eaten. But I make that door impassable. And luckily, like, I don't know if I had good luck, but these demons don't break down constructions or doors. So now that's my demon room, and that's what it looks like now. I've been playing all day since this happened. And this is just what the room looks like. Um... Like I said, I let a little one out. I let a little bat monster, one of the smaller ones out, to test on it. And it's immune to traps. Nothing I tried works. Um, my archers can't even do enough damage uh, to overwhelm how quickly it heals. Uh, but they're contained, so this fortress is still happy and healthy um, around this containment. So I just gotta, I have all the time in the world to pick at it and figure it out. Um, if you made it this far in the video, uh, please like and subscribe. The channel growth is really important and I appreciate it. You know, uh, I think when I make it to 2,000 subscribers, they'll actually start giving me uh, my a share of that that sweet ad, ad revenue. So um, if we could get there, I'd be really happy and I would have more time to work on these. So definitely consider it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, definitely going to show you guys more. This is the frozen beach again. I'll show you more from this map because now this is my best map. It's got a cool... Uh, evil weather thing on the surface. It's got three interesting caves and it now has uh, access to hell uh, with a contained clown car being the only thing that stands in the way of us actually getting down there. And um, yeah, check it out. All these, all these different monsters. I think I go to the others list and you'll see that there's like 70. Um, but yeah, I just, I was so excited. I had to share with you guys. Thank you for your help uh, in the last video when I was like stuck in the magma sea and, and trying to find it. Um, your encouragement really meant a lot. And to give credit, I think the guy who actually got it right was the one who said, look for volcanic gem walls and just, um, just keep looking, be patient. Uh, but I appreciate all of you. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, I'll have more updates uh, on the next one.